When we first started this restoration project and when I first started thinking about this whole thing, I realized there's never going to be enough money to, to pay people to do the amount of work that needs to be done. But there seems like an, almost an endless supply of volunteer divers, you know, divers that want to do something. Divers get bored just swimming around looking at things. And I thought, what if we could give them something to do? What if they could become part of the solution? So we started, you know, this whole idea of engaging and, and meaningfully engaging volunteers to help do the work took root back in the early days of Coral Restoration Foundation. And now at, at Reef Renewal, we really want to uh, take that to a new level where we provide uh, very uh, detailed, uh, comprehensive training materials for the volunteers so that they can accomplish all these tasks uh, independently, on their own time, in their own boat, uh, according to our you know, specs. But I, I really believe that volunteers are the future of coral reef restoration and I think that uh, if we can get our volunteers owning these projects, owning sections of the reef, then uh, we've solved the problem because if they become an owner, it'll become theirs. They're going to take care of it. They're going to tell people about it they're going to, uh, it's just going to happen and I don't have to do it all. <laughs> but if, if you pay people to do it, then it, it, they only do it as long as there's money. But volunteers will do it as long as there's passion. And so the idea is keep the passion going, provide them with uh, the tools they need and the training and, and let them go out and do it. It's, it's so good to see the community involvement, the grassroots involvement with this entire program. And in the future, I hope to see even more of that. Uh, it, it certainly is best. And, and when you get the ownership of it locally, as, as we have here in the low key area, uh, and, and I hope to see that, uh, and there are some, some efforts already going that way, seeing establishing more nurseries throughout the entire chain of the keys. Uh, it, it's a successful project. It's, it's making a difference out there, and I think if uh, given given time and opportunity and more involvement from uh, local partners, either uh, businesses or uh, nonprofits, and from the local community itself, that we can bring the beauty and the vibrancy of the the reef in the entire uh, Keys chain back closer to where it belongs, closer to where it really was. Uh, volunteering with the reef organization has been a wonderful experience. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed working both on land and underwater, um, seeing the progress of the coral grow and hopefully you know, it's continued to grow. Um, my hopes for this program is always the continued success of the program but also uh, hoping to see it expand into other areas. The coral growth is phenomenal and the techniques that are being used seem to um, be working very well. <laughs> While we're under the, in the water cleaning the coral trees, it's pretty interesting because some of the trees have a lot of growth. Some of them don't have very much growth on them. Um, you see various fish swimming by. Um, I wear gloves most of the time. Some people don't wear gloves. so. Um, just seeing the coral and how much it's growing from a week to week um, is very interesting. The best part of working with Reef Renewal is the diversity of the people, their backgrounds, their interests, um, and all the types of work that needs to get done from cutting the corals to cutting the bamboo or making the, the buoys. It's variety and you can never be bored. I hope this program takes hold to the point that it goes on and our children and our grandchildren will have the experience to understand that there's so much to be done, so much you can give and so much you can get out of being a volunteer and leaving a legacy for the future. The experience of planting the first corals is it's like a first step in any project. It's, it's the beginning of a long-term commitment that you're just going to see grow and grow and flourish for the future. 
So my best experience volunteering with Reef Renewal was working with the coral trees and the elkhorn and staghorn corals and seeing that they are tr truly growing noticeable from week to week. And I'm really enjoying that. Well, my hopes for the Reef Renewal Program are to get the coral growth back to the way I remember it. We've been coming to the Blue Key area for 40 years now, and it was spectacular. I've seen it go downhill, and I'm just so anxious to see it get back up and going again. So working in the nursery, um, we, we dive for about an hour. That's about how long it takes for us to clean the four trees that are assigned to us. And it, and it goes very well. It's, uh, the time flies by, it's very interesting, and we can certainly see the progress in the corals. You know, um, uh, the, the greatest thing for me is to see the coral growing. If you look, go out and come back a couple uh, weeks later and actually see the tree I was working on is, is, has grown and that there's fingers growing off of things and, uh, and, and stuff that wasn't there before because you get to know each piece when, when you're cleaning your tree, you know. Uh, so it's, it's just been a great experience for me and I, and I always feel really, really good coming home from a couple of dives. All right, so what I like so much about working with the program so far is all the great people I've met. We've had some great experiences with the divers down underwater and above water, and then cutting the coral on the dry land was really interesting to do. Um, but I like the, what I like the best is the people. My hope for the program, of the, uh, the future of the program, is to expand. I would love to see this program all over Florida and hopefully all over the world. I mean, it would be really great to go everywhere we dive. Hey, there's one of our reef renewal reefs. Hey, that's one of our, our great reefs that we put in. I would love to see it go global. What I've enjoyed the most so far being part of reef renewal is taking ownership of the coral trees that we have taken care of and being able to take other people out there, friends of ours, and show them, look, this is actually what we have done and produced. And I'm very proud of being part of that and, and watching the coral grow. I really hope that this program keeps expanding and uh, we're able to recolonize the uh, reefs that are dying with our you know, uh, trees or rope method or whatever method that we're using that we find works the best to hopefully go all up and down um, Florida and hopefully, won't, you know, all over the world one day. Um, it's amazing to watch how fast these coral grow under the right condition and then replant them to the original reefs.